Alison Chenoweth and Cal Penn. Now, Cal, congratulations on this brilliant memoir. Thank you. You can't be serious. Thank you, thank you. The reviews of the book are absolutely phenomenal. You write so well in the book. And in, in the book, you, you, you tell a tale about, about your life, about your, your fascinating career. You've had such an amazing, rich and full life. What made you want to write this now? Uh, I wanted to write a book for the 20-year-old version of myself and the person out there who doesn't view the world as binary, which is, I think, most people, mm. right? You have a passion that might be different from your career. You might have multiple passions, multiple careers. Um, and I just love what we do so much as, as artists. And then, uh, you know, everyone's kind of dialed into public service, whatever their political views are. And I just thought things have changed so wonderfully in the last 20 years. I know we focus a lot on the negative. We focus on what divides us. But why not focus on the special thing, that it that makes us who we are in a beautiful way and brings us together and celebrate the things that we should celebrate. And so I thought maybe it was time to write that, yes. that story. Yes. It's so great. It's so brilliant. And I can't wait to read it. I know that you're, you're, you're very close to your family, you're very close to your parents. What do, what do they think of the book? What do they make of you writing this? <laughs> I was wondering if you could ask me about my parents. All right, look. So, uh, as heartfelt as the sentiment that I just said was, and it's all true, I do believe that, and that's why I wrote the book. It's also, I wanted it to be funny, and my sense of humor, as you know, it can be sophomoric. So there's a section in that book, my, to answer your question, my parents only had one note. They were fine with any story I wanted to tell, any of the R-rated jokes, except for one. The only note they had on the book, there's a section in the book where I talk about my cousin. And this is a cousin who I, he and I have, have had this, this like prank competition for at least 10, 15 years. And we try to one-up each other. And in the book, I write about how he caught gonorrhea during the pandemic. <laughs> and I name him and I no. talk all about how he caught gonorrhea. And then in a tiny little footnote, I write about how he didn't actually catch gonorrhea during the pandemic. <laughs> And I write about this prank, but nobody reads footnotes. No. So that's how I was going to win this prank. And my parents are like, under no circumstances can you do this. And I was like, oh, come on. It's going to be so good. So it's still in the book, but I had to change his name. But he knows who he is. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. It's such a great read. Uh, Kristen, you're performing at the National Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony, yes. which airs on CBS this Sunday. Yes. Huge night. Um, because you've always, you have such an extraordinary voice. Did you used to go Christmas caroling when you were growing up? With my church group, I did. And, uh, yeah, we always did it around dinner time. In Oklahoma, you shouldn't do that because everything centers around dinner and mm -hmm. food. And just this last Christmas, I was at home, and knock, 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 we're eating dinner. And a group of 13, 14-year-old girls, you know, we open the door, and they're like, silent night. And if you know that song, mm. there's like 45 verses mm. to <laughs> So, verse three, I'm standing in the back. I'm not going to, like, show my face, right? Mm. But I've had enough of Silent Night. Yeah. And so I just decided to destroy their dreams. Oh. And I pop out and I go, hi. And they all go, oh, my God, I'm not. I just slowly shut the door. Oh, no. I'm terrible. I'm never being invited back, am I? No, always you're invited okay. back. Okay. I don't think they'll invite you to anything. No. Ever. You're the kind of friend we all need. Yeah. <laughs> In that you moment, it's true. Oh, yes. Nobody it's thinks that, but you're yes. right. It's true. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for our guests this evening? Okay. Yeah, it's a nice question, goes to. Uh, let's make it for our guests. <laughs> uh, so theoretically, if you took, let's say, a medium or a strong high medium dose of mushrooms, uh, would you prefer to be in a cabin with a few friends uh, by a river uh, or in a city wandering around? Uh, a cabin? Is there any question? City wandering around, no. I call a Monday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Diverse answers and also correct. Absolutely <laughs> correct. Please sign Kristen Chenoweth. Cal Penn, stick around. Kristen is going to perform when we come back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>